In the previous videos, we took a detour and got to learn about Scapy, a really cool framework to sniff, create, or dissect frames using Python. Let us now look at our layers model again. As I've said before, we will not focus on the first layer in this course. We've already covered the second layer, so now it's time to proceed to the third layer, that is, the network layer. In this module, we'll learn about possible implementations of this layer, as well as issues it handles. We'll get to know a few relevant protocols, and also some useful utilities. Before we dive deep into this layer, we'll shortly remind ourselves of its goals, as well as the service it provides to the fourth layer. So let us look at our network diagram once more. As we've said over and over again, the second layer is responsible for transmitting data between two hosts that are directly linked. In other words, devices linked via a single hop. So the second layer is responsible for the connection between computer A and router 1. The same applies for each connection between two directly linked devices. The third layer allows us to send packets between remote hosts, that is, hosts that are not directly linked, but are rather connected via multiple hops. Let us remind ourselves that datagrams in this layer are called packets. The third layer is responsible for defining the route of the packets. In other words, deciding upon the path that the packets will travel in. So perhaps when A sends a packet to B, it will go through routers 1, 4, 6, 7, and 10. Then another packet will be sent, and this time will be routed through routers 1, 4, 9, 8, and 10. Different implementations of this layer may work differently, as we'll see in future videos. Some implementations allow for such flexibility where each packet is routed in a different route, and some don't. So what is the service that the network layer provides to the fourth layer, that is the transportation layer? The fourth layer views all of this network diagram as an abstract cloud. It doesn't know the routers and it doesn't care about the structure of the network or the routing. It assumes that the network can send a packet from one end to another. The network layer should supply exactly that provide a service of transmitting packets over the entire network. Having these layers goals in mind, we are ready to go on. In the next video, we'll consider different possible implementations of the third layer. Shortly after, we'll start discussing third layer protocols that are widely used on the internet.